Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I'd like to talk about um, how I configured my Obsidian for my solo sessions. Um, this video was requested by um, a colleague of mine, a Brazilian colleague, that he had some uh, difficulties on configuring it and I already did the Portuguese version of it but I think that it might be it could be helpful actually for for some people that are not Portuguese speakers. So yeah, let's go into it. So um, here it is my uh, uh, Obsidian. Actually, this is a, a fresh Obsidian with no plugins installed and so on. Um, I'm not an expert on this tool. So the only thing that I'm going to do is exactly show the plugins that I use and talk a little bit about them. So in order to install a plugin in Obsidian, you should go to this uh, cog here on settings. And here uh, we have this option called community plugins. You should turn on the community plugins by clicking on this uh, button. And then you now can see these uh, community plugins and with this button, uh, browse. So just click on it. And then um, we, we have actually, uh, it shows 875 plugins. Uh, and the first one that I would like to talk about is exactly this one here, Excalidraw. Um, this is basically the whiteboard that I use on my sessions when I, when I record on my computer. So just click on install. You are going to see here on the top right corner. And yeah, it's really fast. It's already installed. So let me go through it. And actually after you install it, you should enable it by clicking here. And once again, it opens all the time that Excalidraw is updated on, or, or disabled and enabled. Uh, it opens this uh, uh, welcome uh, window with some YouTube videos and so on. So it's enabled already. Just close it. And if I click here in this icon, I will have a whiteboard. And here it is exactly where I, I usually um, copy and paste uh, uh, my character sheet. So usually I put a character sheet here and I use this uh, whiteboard to, to play my game. So I, I write things here. I I do my maps here too. Most of the times I I have I create some some tokens and use in this in this whiteboard. So there are a lot of things that can be done. Just use your creativity. Um, although I have the whiteboard, I do not have um, a dice. Uh, the dice plugins uh, plugin installed yet so let's let's install it once again um, community plugin plugins browse and dice, Oops. dice. so um, there are two and uh, I use this one dice roller I, I've never tried this simple dice roller I will click here, dice roller, install, and we can see that it, it is installing. Actually, it's already installed. So I'm going to close it and enable it. So it's enabled right now. And oh yeah, but where is the dice? I can't see it. Yeah, it's in the top right corner. You can see this icon called expand. Just click here and you will see a small dice icon. So just click here and then you can see uh, that the dice is here. So let's roll a d20 for instance. Okay, it's working. You can see the results here. Uh, but um, I, I personally prefer to see the dice actually rolling on my screen. So for that, just go to this cog setting and one can just open this cog here the options for the dice dice roller plugin or just click here all plugins that are installed they will be shown here 
so dice roller and hmm. there is um uh what is it there is a display graphic for dice view row so just enable this and once it is enabled now we should see some dice on my screen so you can even if we if we go to the settings we can even change the the color die so i could say that they, they should be none so for instance and the, the numbers should be yellow then if i roll again there it is there it is so we we have the the, the whiteboard we have the 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 dice uh i believe that we are ready to play right and yes actually these two plugins are the ones that i most use however uh if one check my uh, tiny dungeons slash forbidden lands uh, uh, videos uh one can see that i have used another plugin as well for for hex crawl and the reason for that is that in, in hex Kali draw we have um uh, some kind of limitations for our images if we just drag and drop an image here that is in high resolution and we just zoom in uh we will see that we will lose a lot of quality so in order to use uh, high quality images for maps and, and and draw on them and so on i use another plugin this plugin is called let's go there it's uh, browse and it's obsidian 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 uh, okay it's not showing let's show Lee. yeah this one here uh it's leaflet i'm not sure if the pronunciation is correct so just click here and install it once again it's a few seconds and we have this installed so um oh actually i just forgot to enable it so we need to enable it once it is enabled one we will see that uh we have this icon in the uh, uh, uh in the left side so just opening it you can see just a map so of of our planet and i assume that this is not actually what you want to see you would like of course to use a map of yours so let's just do it so i will create a folder here just call uh, maps and inside this folder i'm going to create um, a node called uh, map one okay is it inside oh it's not just put this inside and then uh once i have this map uh first i need to 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 drag and drop an image to this folder as well the image that we are going to use for for our our map so i'm grabbing it right now let's see yeah so i have the image here so if i open it here it's just the image it's just a dot png file uh i cannot i can i cannot zoom in to it uh I cannot draw on it um nothing so uh if i go to the note map one i can use this image by using this command so you can just use this and if i there is the editing mode mode and reading mode so currently i am in the editing mode so i will just change to the reading mode and we can see that we have uh a link to our image here but still i cannot draw i cannot do anything with it uh if i go back to the editing mode and if i add an exclamation point i can just put this in a way that it's i don't need to to hover my cursor on top of it to see the image the image will, will be already there but i cannot zoom into it i cannot draw anything so what we need to do actually is uh we need to put some kind of code leaf leaflet has a, has a, a default code you know, to for, for for creating this map and let's go get this code so in the community in the settings uh, again and in the community 
plugins just click in the obsidian obsidian leaflet and here we can see the documentation for this obsidian all the the, the options that we have properties for for the map or uh, explanations for, for a description for each one of them uh, and the, the full value too and yeah even more things you can see a lot of information can is written here but what we need for now is this one here. so let's just copy this block of code and go back to our note so this is our note editing so this is what we need so let me just rearrange this a little bit we just need to guarantee that in uh, every property is in one line every single property has its own line so let me just organize this a little bit better marker and yep. so that's it this one is getting a default image so we need just to change this with the name that the image that we want that is the one now if i just leave the editing mode and go to the read mode we have our map so i can zoom in i can move it i can draw see and we can click finish we can save it and keep all the changes that we made to it and this is our map uh, but it's too small right so now you can play with these properties so i can just say instead of 500 pixels we can just say 800 pixels for instance and let's go back and now it's a little bit bigger we can say uh, that i would like to have the default zoom in a seven and the minimum zoom is five and now we start with it but the minimum zoom is only this five so one can say but it's too small okay we can add more stuff to it so the with it for instance we can say 150 percent and now we have a bigger map in our screen another thing that we can use uh, if i press the right button we can add these marks to the map uh, we can remove them and of course as i said if we go here in the installed plugins uh we can edit these uh map map markers too so i can just click on this one for instance and say that i would like to have this in red uh i can add addition i can upload images to be our our, our marker or i can just uh, create new ones so let's create a test zero one uh, this is the name and I can just pick an uh, icon from this list I can get a house home home yeah so there is a home icon it can be inside of this symbol or it could be alone you can change the color too and once it is done just click on save and then uh, one can add the default one or the test one but as you can see when i cl click it on it it didn't work so i need to move to another uh folder or notes and then go back and then you see this this is i assume a, a bug currently but yeah but it, it it works so if you do not use so so many marks or additional marks i think it only happens one 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 once you create a new new marker but if you just have all all your markers defined it you can just use them uh, like this and yeah i think that's all um i hope it was enough to to help you on configuring uh, uh obsidian for your solo sessions um i'm not an expert on on the topic uh, as as you might have noticed it. Uh, but if you need any any help and if you see, think that i can help you just put in the comments and i will try to to answer your questions thank you very much and see you in the next video
Bye-bye.